Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to this video. I wanted to give you a, a quick tour of the Purple Belt Blueprint and just some of the features in it, some of the cool stuff that we've done with it. So first thing, when you come to Escapeology Online, uh, best place to go is log in and you'll come to this screen once you've added your information. To find all the courses and whatnot, you go to courses and then we've set up this really fancy thing. If you click on course, you'll have access to all the different things. Go Purple Belt Blueprint, and then this is the page. So all really, really straightforward. So when you come to this page, this is one of the first things that you wanna do. Um, we've added this introduction. Um, so what it does is it kind of explains like the goals of, uh, you know, the, the blueprint, what we're trying to achieve by doing it. It's just Chelsea and I talking. Um, just talking about the different ideas about what like a purple belt should be looking at and how they should be trying to work and improve. The next thing that you wanna do is download this blueprint. Okay, so a couple of ways. It should pretty much start automatically. I didn't want to do that because now I've gone back to the thing. Uh, if I open this up in a new tab, you will come to this page, which is the actual blueprint. Okay, so this is a PDF. You can download it. If you want to go uh, left click and save link as, you'll be able to download that, store it wherever. Um, the reason that that's quite nice in this blueprint, there are the hyperlinks and whatnot. So if you store this on your phone, for example, or on an iPad or whatever, you can go to the various different areas. So let's say I wanted to go to the technical knowledge stuff um, and then I wanted to look on the, the double pull things. You click on that and then it will bring up the double pull. Obviously you'll need to be logged in, but you can go from there. So each one of these videos is, um, it's got a little bit of a kind of a breakdown about what we're trying to achieve. And then <clears throat> depending on the video, some of the older ones don't necessarily have this, but all of the newer ones do. Uh, the video is hyperlinked through. So like, for example, I wanna to go to the leg drag setup. I just click on that, the video will skip through to it. And then we can talk about, you know, the leg drag, um, Chelsea and I leg dragging each other. If you want a blueprint, uh, bookmark it within your account, really, really easy. You click on bookmark, you can create a new collection. So if you wanted to add a new collection, you can do that and you're good to go from there. So very, very cool, um, works really, really well. Let's go back to the blueprint itself. So. What, I've, what we've tried to do within this blueprint is break it down into a couple of different sections. The first part is kind of like the pillars of jujitsu. Um, I've shared a bunch of information about these before, but they're like the 10 rules um, that we kind of try to instill in people and it will make your journey through jujitsu much, much simpler if you start to um, follow them. So they're all super simple. So things like, you know, um, elbows in, right? Elbows in, very, very obvious, but it, it, a lot of people break those rules um, routinely and it can it can hamper you you know if you're trying to like defend a position for example hugging your partner is really the worst thing you want to be able to do so you've got to keep those elbows in uh, and the video according to that as well it has the same thing we go into each one of these in way more depth so if we jump to the elbows in there's going to be a little bit of chelsea and i talking um and then a bunch of stuff about like you know how you can how you can get caught with your elbows out uh and and that kind of thing as well so um, from there, again, this is if you wanna to jump to a specific section, you just right click over here. The next section is um, one of the things that Purple Belt should be doing is looking like planning their game and starting to develop their game. Um, so we've given you access to this webinar. This webinar, um, it covers uh, a ton of different stuff. Okay, some fundamental ideas. I think I, I broke down like eight different things, um, eight different, uh, uh, seven, maybe seven, seven, I can't remember exactly, seven or eight different areas of, of, uh, of game planning and how you put them all together. So well worth kind of checking out that and, and going through that video. The slides are there as well. Um, and then we have the technical knowledge. So as you scroll through this, we've broken it down into different areas. So we've got like the start of the fight is one area um, and then you'll have passing, then we'll have guard work, submissions, escapes, all kinds of different things. Within each of these sections, so let's take the, 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 the passing for an example, you'll have two different parts to it. You'll have like the blue belt techniques here, which is the stuff that's covered in the blue belt blueprint. And again, this is linked directly into this page where you can, you know, check out all the videos. The videos are linked in here as well, which is the other thing I'll talk about in a second. Um, but if I go back to that, so yeah, let's take the, okay, start the fight's a good example. Um, so you've got all of these different techniques that are covered in this seminar. Um, and then we've added some specific videos, which are for the purple belts. So you've got like double pull, which I clicked on a few minutes ago, duck unders, uh, and then we've got this, this common, common throws thing. So we want like really the, the purple belt builds off the blueprint. So you need, to, you need to have access to this information, which is why we include them both 
um, within the purple belt one so you get access to both lots of information and i mean that is like a ton of stuff it's like 13 hours worth of content which is ridiculous um, and then yeah you go through all the various different sections um, we've got this other really awesome thing as well which is something that chelsea and i created you know positional hierarchies are pretty common but um if it the way this one works is slightly different it's not about like you know what happens in in um uh, in like a, a competition for example like you get four points of amount uh, and that's better it's like the different stages that you have to go through from each direction okay so we put back control at top and then we work from there so again there's a there's a there's a, a a video where we go into it in far more depth here where we discuss like the positional hierarchy um and then like you know how it works how it plays out uh, and and how you can use it so that if you're ever in a position that you don't understand you can instantly have an idea about what to do um, so yeah, that's very, very cool. And then live applications. This is really just a little bit of stuff that we'd expect people to be able to show. Um, so it's a little bit of like kind of information about what we'd expect people to know. And then some of our additional criteria for what we'd let, like, expect a purple belt to be able to do against their different partners. Okay, so that's the PDF. If we go back to this page. Uh, so we've got our introduction, we've got the, the PDF. All of the different sections are linked through here. Now, the reason I didn't want to link every single one in this is just simply because um, it gets into like a ton of different links and some of them you'll probably already like, you'll know, so you don't necessarily go back over them. So it kind of, it condenses things down just a little bit. If you want to go back and find out what they are, you can always click on the blue book blueprint, just as I said a few seconds ago, and then you can scroll down to the various things. So this one you'll see, it'll be there. Uh, but it won't be here so it's just a way that we've set it up to make people's lives just a hopefully a little bit easier um, and yeah that's pretty much about it like this whole page is uh is 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 just dedicated to this purple belt thing all right so Chelsea and I we've really we really wanted to create this to be a guide like there's no definitive answer to what a purple belt should or could or um, should be able to know it's more about like understanding the for us the different techniques that we'd expect a purple belt to be able to demonstrate or see and then be able to replicate and then like the ideas the concepts we would expect a purple belt to be doing so things like developing their own game you know they're having a plan of what to do from each position and the, all those kind of different things so it's it's more of a uh, it's it's really a guide to how to take what you you developed in the blue belt and then start learning it and gearing it more towards the purple belt Okay, that's why there's actually, you know, within the Purple Belt Blueprint, there's still about four hours of content, but that's nowhere near the same amount as in the Blue Belt one, which is like nine hours. Um, and that's, it's intentional, you know, you should be refining your game more. There's still more things to learn when you get to Purple Belt, but there's a lot less, you know, it's more about refining what you know, applying it, developing a system for your, for your game. All right, so hopefully that all makes sense. Um, if you want to uh, get this, I'll put a link below this video so you can, uh, you can get this. And yeah, hopefully it'll help you start working towards your purple belt um, and you'll have some idea of, about what you should be doing, how, uh, and obviously we can fill in any gaps that you didn't know or, or fill in any gaps that you, you might have um, moving forward as well. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys out. If you've got any questions, then just let me know and I'll answer them as best as I can. Awesome.